Hey besties, welcome or welcome back to another vlog. It's your girl Jada Simone and you're watching Jada's channel. Today is Saturday. We are going car shopping again. Y'all know my car dilemma. We may or may not be getting a car today because I'm I'm honestly truly fed up at this point. Like I need a car. I'm ready for a car. But also like during this process, I've been praying for patience. I'm a very impatient person naturally. And I want to say like, most of my life i've always asked god for patience like that's always incorporated in my nighttime prayers so i feel like this is a situation that god has placed me in in order for me to develop patience and i feel like it's working throughout this whole process it's been about a month with no car and throughout this whole process like i've just been trusting god i d i wasn't upset when my car broke down i wasn't upset with how much money it was going to take to like i wasn't upset or anything irritable anything throughout the process even car shopping i always went into it just thinking like okay well we're going to look at cars we're going to weigh our options we're going to see because this is the first time i'm paying for my own car on my own so i wanted everything to be basically perfect i know perfection is you know how people feel about perfection but i feel like if I'm paying for it, I deserve everything to be perfect and to go my way. So, yeah. We may or may not be getting a car today um, simply because the car that I want, um, y'all know, pandemic, all of that, car production was very scarce. So, they're really starting to, like, produce cars now. But the car that I want, I'm going the used route and I'm only going certified pre-owned. I'm not buying a car off of somebody even like these dealerships are just so used cars like no i'm going straight to the dealer and i'm getting it certified pre-owned oh i'm i'm getting distracted i'll be people watching in front of my window so i just got distracted but this car is so scarce like there's only one of two cars one is in new jersey one is in connecticut and the connecticut car it's, it's a whole thing the connecticut car is like three thousand dollars more than the one in jersey and the only thing that the connecticut car has is all-wheel drive and heated seats and my dealer in jersey said that he can install the heated seats in this car and they lowered the car's price by a thousand dollars so i might be getting like it, it, everything is looking real right so we are about to head out go pick up my dad y'all know i've been driving my dad's car for the past month go pick him up and head to the dealership so Oh, y'all want to see y'all niece real quick? Because she's been being a good girl because she thinks she's coming with us. Look at her. She look a mess, y'all. <laughs> she looks a mess. But y'all know I haven't gotten her groomed yet because the vet said wait as long as possible. But she looks a hot shaggy mess. She's going to get a bath either tonight or tomorrow. And maybe I'll push, like brush her hair up into a ponytail. I don't know. But yeah, come on, y'all. Let's go. We are. Hey, why you got to take my Where's your car? We're back in the car. And I just love this car. Right, Dad? Yeah. It's alright. <laughs> it's alright. Alright besties, so as a part of Healing Girl Summer, my healing journey, I decided that it's time to start going out more. I'm naturally a homebody, however, I'm not about to waste my 20s just in these four walls. I love my apartment dearly, but there's so much out there to explore, have fun, be with friends. So today it is July 4th, um, and even though I don't celebrate that colonizer holiday, I am going to go out and just do brunch with my girls. So me, Hannah, and Lena are going to this restaurant downtown called The Ashford, I think. And then figure out what the rest of the day looks like. I know Hannah does have to go to work after brunch. But me and Lena are just going to figure out what the rest of the day is. And I do have to work tomorrow, y'all. So I'm not going to stay out too late because I do want to come back in and reset and get ready for the work week tomorrow. And I'm pretty sure I'm not going in the office. But yeah, y'all, let's go. It's almost 1.30. We said we would meet at 1.30 in the lobby. So let's go. Okay, we are with the girls. We got Miss Lena. Giving all the vibes. We have Hannah. <laughs> and then there's me. I don't know if y'all can see me because I'm not flipping out the thing, but I mean, yeah. we are outside. This rain is OZ, but we're headed to the place. This humidity. I did not sign up to live in Florida, but whatever. It just is what it is. 
change of plans as y'all saw we walked in it just was giving very much empty but literally the sign right here i don't know if y'all can see it says rooftop open we made reservations and everything but they're closed they don't open until four which is dumb because like why would you let people make reservations anyway we're trying to find somewhere else to go right now um at this point i am a little hungry and it's humid i want to get out of this humidity so let's see what we figure out and i'll pick y'all back up all right y'all so we found a place it's called grove station on grove street got my orange juice and we got some sparkling water and it's this cute little flower like i think it's real is this real well clearly it's in water turn her over she's cute besties happy saturday we are wine tasting with the girls we are out it was like an hour out and we are in the middle of nowhere but we're still in new jersey somewhere and it's really cute this is like cuter than the last vineyard i was at maybe like a year two years ago i'm really digging it so let me show y'all Alright besties, I am finally home. What time is it? Let me get my phone. It is 9.30 at night. Y'all, I had to put Layla in the bathroom because she's been learning how to jump out of her playpen. And she was just doing the most, let's have a toast. But when I got back, y'all, that bathroom was a hot mess. So I did just finish cleaning up. That's why I look and feel so exhausted. But I am about to get myself together. I'm about to take this makeup off, do some skincare. I am about to get unready. I'm thinking about doing a cute little get unready with me video. That's why I have my second camera here. Having two cameras definitely comes in clutch. I have all of my like little stuff already set up. Only thing is all my batteries are dead. Like this camera battery was dead. It was charging while I was cleaning up Layla mess. And then I have three batteries for that other camera and they're all dead. So we're going to see how this turns out because we're trying to get all the content. And I haven't done like a skincare routine on this channel yet. So I don't think it's going to be a routine. Just like a get on ready with me. And quick and sped up with some music on top. Y'all I'm so tired. But I think I'm about to film that real quick and I will be right back. Good morning besties. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I've been going for a while. I've been going for a very long while. I checked last night and it said I hadn't uploaded for five months and i hadn't been consistent for eight months y'all hear layla crying it is currently 5 48 y'all like look at this 5 48 on a thursday <sighs> y'all we are taking layla to go get spayed oh i know my baby she is having surgery today she's crying i don't think she knows i've been being extra sweet to her when she comes home today i'm gonna be extra sweet extra sweet i do have to go to work um i don't know how long her procedure is gonna take so i'll probably be a little bit late to work i hope not but i have to like drop her off here and then rush to work and then once i come home she's getting pampered all weekend my little baby she don't even know what the heck is going on but yeah, we have to be up super early because, come on, <laughs> y'all, the dog, come, come say hi to the people, say, oh, you guys haven't seen me, it's your dog, say hi, people, y'all, she be wanting to be included so bad, but anyway, so, Layla has, she has to, well, she doesn't have to get spayed, I made the decision to get her spayed because she has a plan with this, um, pet hospital called Banfield. they have been lele she must know what's going on but um there's a pet hospital called Banfield, and 
they have this yearly plan for puppies that you pay every month and then all their shots all their medication all their pet visits everything is covered for what you pay so i think i was paying like 95 dollars a month but then they say after the first year because they're not puppies and they're not coming to the vet ever so often you don't like you know it don't make sense to keep the plan so my her plan is actually up i think next week and then spaying is covered under her plan and everyone suggests that you get your pup spayed because they claim that they live longer have less health complications they are calmer because y'all know lately be bouncing off the walls um so i just figured like okay since it's already covered under her plan like i might as well get it done now because what if i decide years down the line like oh dang i should have got her spade and i gotta pay out of pocket you know you know even though i technically already paid out of pocket but then it's low-key free because i already paid. anyway girl math so we are going to hop on the road another fun fact is i couldn't find a banfield within miles from me i was gonna take her to brooklyn queens manhattan they all all the banfields didn't have a spay appointment until like august finally found one in east brunswick new jersey which is like an hour from me so that's why we're up so early because her appointment is at seven and when i called they were like yeah we got an appointment at 7 a.m i took it i didn't ask if there was one any later i took it <laughs> so me and my girl we are up and she is like what is going on and she needs to be groomed y'all you okay mommy you okay mm -hmm my poor baby all right y'all so i'm back vlogging so this is the start of being back consistently vlogging and posting so we're gonna see how this goes let's go <laughs> all right y'all we are in the car i didn't know it was raining it's like drizzling like slightly it's like misting but miss lay is here i have her little setup but when we're in the car she just sits in my lap i know i need to get her a car seat to like strap her back there but she'd be crying when i have her like in her travel bag or if i put her back there she just wants to be in my lap but let me show y'all her little setup so it's not much i just have one of her blankets um i always put a blanket down in my car because i don't want her to get motion sickness or to pee or anything and then she just got two of her toys her leash is attached to her, so we just got the leash with the poop bags. And then I'm currently listening to the Casey Crew podcast. I don't know if y'all can see. They are back. I'm so excited. So I'm going to listen to this on the ride. Perfect. It's 50 minutes, so it'll occupy my entire ride. And yeah, y'all, it's raining, and we are about to be out. We made it it's still gloomy but it hasn't rained rain it's still misting Layla's whining a little bit because she's like oh crap where are we when I pulled in I was like dang it's so early are they even open but we made it right on time so let me hurry up and get her in here and get her situated and then I'll come back and yeah I dropped my baby off I feel so bad like <sighs> I know like everyone is saying like even or like all the vet and like pro pet people are saying that this is the best thing that you could do for your um dog like it's really beneficial for them I'm just like emotional I'm just an emotional person so I don't like to see my baby in pain they're saying she has to wear a cone for two weeks so I know that's going to irritate her they are sending her on with home with pain medicine so she's clearly going to be in pain so oh my girl my girl so y'all say a prayer for Lay. I know by the time y'all see this, she will already have, you know, healed and she'll be back to her little self. But say a prayer for my girl. Y'all, she is all done. She's up right now. She's awake. She's just loopy and y'all can't see her eyes because she needs to be groomed. But it looks like she's in and out of sleep a little bit. Layla. Hi, Lay. Y'all see her ears twitching a little bit. Y'all can't really see her eyes. She really needs to be groomed, but this dog never lays down in the car they said well i'll recap y'all on what they said and like her care instructions but i feel so bad my little muffin mm, she's gonna be out of it for like a good day and a half so we about to get her home and let her rest up hey besties happy friday it's been a little over a week because layla's surgery was last thursday since i picked y'all up but y'all girl she's good let me show y'all her come on Come here, Muffin. Yo, the dog. She back to normal. She wasn't eating for like a day or two, but look. She back and she's still bad. She back and she's still bad. 